okay welcome back guys and today we are going to be talking about the remaining two ways of styling html elements with css the first one i talked about in the previous episode was um styling internally using the internal styling method as you can see here so the internal styling method is specifying this a style tag within the two opening and closing he head tag in html so you write your css files here is your your css code sorry your css code rather you be writing your css code in here and the styles will be applied to the element you have targeted with your css code here and the three major ways of selecting html elements with css is by using the name of the html element using the class specified with the class attribute and using an id selector that you have specified here so all these values need to match if not the, the style will not be applied so you have to be careful on the name you're using so you don't get confused okay so let's dive into external styling in the external styling you do not need to specify these two opening and closing tags right here since this is a css file you can just um write it exactly as it is in here so we're actually going to copy this and then paste this in here like this as you can see and let our syntax format it, format it for us and then this is not needed here anymore what we are going to do now is that we are going to be linking to this external html file right here we're going to be linking to this file and how we do that is by specifying another html element called link and as you can see um, emmet has automatically added some attributes for us that the rel using this rel attribute now is specifying what type of file we are linking to and the file we are linking to is a style sheet and this href now remember what a href tag is it specifies where the file we are linking to is located so the file again the file is located in the same folder as our index.html file so we can do this to specify that the editor should start looking in the same directory as the html file and look at our style.css file here and we do this when we sorry i undid that redo and when we save our file you can see that uh, nothing changed as you can see here if i reload if i reload the pre the page nothing changed but if i come back here to comment this out you'll see that save you'll see that the page is now empty nothing shows up nothing shows up except okay there is it's not empty because our html is still present i didn't comment our html out uh is still here but the page now looks ugly because the css file is not present it's not been linked to and so our page is now ugly so we can uncomment this and go back to our page and voila our page is now beautiful again yay uh what else what else okay i've specified how to style html elements externally now we're going to be looking at inline styling so a little recap the three different ways of linking to html elements or styling elements with html is the internal which we specify a style tag and then write our css code within the two style tags in between this head tag or we link to an external css file located somewhere else or in between um, or inside our folder here so in our case here is inside the same folder as our HTML tag and then we write our CSS here and the styles will be applied in here. So the f 
last but not the least is the um inline styling method and that works by styling directly inside the html brackets here so we do that by specifying we're going to be doing that on this tag since we have styled this so we're going to be doing that by specifying a style attribute style attribute and we can specify a color and say we want the color of this to be blue yes blue so the color is blue and you can see that here as you can see wow that doesn't look good to our eyes but at least we know it works um so as you can see inline styling also works but it's actually not good practice to specify many 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 um css styling rules in here it's always better to separate your files it's always better because then you'll be able to structure your code well and you will have a little bit more organized folder a bit more organized code base and all that so um congratulations for going through this refresher or beginner course on intro to HTML and CSS I look forward to seeing what you guys build and if you have any questions please be sure to comment um, in, in the comment section there I'll be sure to reply as soon as possible or you can reach out to any of the mentors on slack or your colleagues at all remember someone is always there to help you so have fun and goodbye see you guys next time